Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Secret Service on high alert after what six celeb just stole from Trump on Air Force One. The Washington Examiner reported that a comedian who posed as Senator Bob Menendez (DNJ) and spoke with President Trump over the phone about a number of hot topics claims he got a visit from Secret Service following the exchange. Secret Service at my door. I guess my old friend Donald wants to continue this. Stay tuned. Comedian John Melendez, who hosts the podcast The Stuttering John, wrote in a tweet early Saturday morning. Melendez said that after he refused to answer the door, the Secret Service left. Pretending to be someone else and prank calling them could end up in theft of confidential information depending on what the president might have said or not said. If the president reveals information to someone but it ends up being a prankster who somehow got through, then what is the legal ramification for receiving the information if said information is supposed to be confidential? There might be a big problem at hand for Melendez if what he's saying is true. Melendez, who used to be a regular part of the Howard Stern show where Trump was a frequent guest, claims to have gotten through to the president while he was aboard Air Force One. According to audio of the call, the two discussed a number of issues, including the impending Supreme Court vacancy and the controversial family border separations. After allegedly getting a few door knocks from the president's security detail, the comedian continued to make light of the situation. Melendez jokingly pitched a GoFundMe page for his legal fees, and touted that Stormy Daniels' lawyer, Michael Avenatti, was considering representing him. Fox News reported. During the podcast, Melendez played audio of his call to the White House switchboard, where he claimed he needed to talk to the president immediately about pending legislation. He reached several White House operators before being told the president would call him back. According to the comedian, senior White House adviser Jared Kushner returned the call, connecting him to Trump. Hi, Bob. The voice identified as Trump is heard saying as he picks up the phone, apparently from Air Force One. He referenced last year's mistrial in the high-profile bribery case against Menendez, indicating he sympathized with the Democratic senator's case. Congratulations on everything, he said. We're proud of you. Congratulations. Great job. You went through a tough, tough situation. And I don't think a very fair situation, but congratulations. The pair also discussed issues from illegal immigration to the replacement of Justice Anthony Kennedy on the Supreme Court. Trump told Melendez that he was planning to make a decision over the next two weeks. On his Twitter account, Melendez blasted Trump for allegedly being more concerned with going after him than the staffers responsible for the botch. All right I guess Donald is more concerned with pursuing this legally as opposed as to firing his screening staff, he tweeted. While the New York Post reported. But the comedian told a different tale to the Post, admitting he wasn't in when the alleged visit happened. I got home and two kids who were my neighbors were saying, Hey there were two guys in suits claiming they were from the Secret Service knocking at your door, said Melendez exclusively told the Post Saturday. They showed the kids their badges. He said he hid inside his house around 11 p.m. when someone knocked again, assuming it was Secret Service making a second visit. The radio personality reached President Trump on Air Force One by impersonating New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez, and recorded the Wednesday exchange for his podcast. Now, he says, he's nervous. I'm looking out my door every minute and I'm getting different attorneys," he said over the phone from his California home. I don't know if someone is trying to play a prank on me or what. I have Avenatti on speed dial right now," he added, referring to Stormy Daniels' lawyer, Michael Avenatti. The comic tapped the attorney in case Trump pursues legal action against him for the prank. You would think that the last thing Mr. Trump would want to do right now is go after some comedian that punked him, Avenatti tweeted Saturday. That would permit inquiry by John into the buffoonery that allowed it to happen. Admit you are an amateur and focus on reuniting the children you separated. This is the exact type of behavior and antics that make administrations not trust reporters and entertainers. This comedian, whose name is not even worth mentioning, did what he did to humiliate the president and make him look stupid. But in reality, he took his own credibility away from himself. This type of behavior should never be tolerated but often and in so many outlets it is. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.